guys, so before I even speak to you guys today, I just need to apologise about how I'm looking right now. I am not looking at my best. I have literally just got back from the gym. Can we just take a minute? I am, um, I have just got back from the gym. Who is this woman? I have no idea myself. Um, but yeah, I've literally just got back. Um, just a bit of an errand day today, mixed with going to the gym. How many times do I need to say I've been to the gym? This is how proud I am of myself that I've actually finally done it. And um, I'm actually really, really happy with myself that I actually finally have started. And I've been so scared about it for ages because it's intimidating, like, you know, when you don't really know what you're doing. You've never been to a gym before and um, you go by yourself. So it was it was quite intimidating, but we did it. I did an hour and a half. I'm actually so proud of myself. Um, and then after I went to the post office and got coffee, which I didn't think was a need to vlog. Secondly, I just need to apologize again uh, for the fact that I've been extremely MIA. Um, I've been more focused on Instagram recently and I have been uploading on YouTube, but not as regular as normal and i'm not gonna lie i haven't picked up the camera in about three weeks which is not like me um anyway i'm vlogging today because i've just received an amazing parcel from a brand called chick me and i'm gonna be doing a video soon either a youtube video or a tiktok real try on haul thing i'm not sure which one so if you want to see um, a YouTube try on then let me know if not then I'll just do TikTok or a reel I think I've got to do TikTok reel anyway so just let me know which one um, you want to see um, but yeah what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all the clothes because I have been gifted the most amazing items I've literally only opened one of them but this is a big collaboration and I'm very very lucky um, I showed you guys a couple of vlogs back what I got gifted from Sheen so this is a similar collaboration they're both i think from china um i can never work out if sheen is from america or china like i don't know um sorry i have to sit down because i'm not good um so yeah i'm not sure which one but they're kind of the same similar thing um so yeah i'm gonna open the items i think i've been sent six things which is amazing and i'm super grateful for them so i haven't even i've only opened one like i said so i'm going to show you them we're going to open them together um and then i'm going to get on with taking the content i don't know if i'm actually going to take the content today because i just don't really feel like wearing makeup today like it's the time of the month and you know i'm covered in spots at the minute which i don't enjoy and it's not going to look right on photos plus i'm getting my lashes infilled on friday like at, in at like 10 in the morning so i think i'm gonna do them friday um i've got until the 25th of july um and i think it's like the 10th today so that's 15 days which is fine to do six posts because i was worried because i did initially pick 15 items but obviously they've sent me six so which is quite a relief um so yeah what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna stop talking and i'm gonna show you the items so this is the first item so this is a really really cute like lingerie set um i think this is really gorgeous so it's three pieces which is amazing it's got these cute little details on it. it's got little ribbons i love the pattern it's like fully embroidered i just think that's so nice um it's kind of like giving me like harness brazar vibes if that's how you say the name of the company it's fully adjustable which we love um it's kind of similar to the vibe of the underwear that i sell on my own business um as well so that's really cute um so yeah this is going to be a pretty easy post for me because i'm just going to do it on my bed with a ring light on i can take it myself that type of thing i know for the business and for like collaborations like if anyone is interested in getting into blogging um companies really really request and uh love outside pictures like pictures in town pictures in busy places nice backgrounds fields that type of thing um so with underwear obviously you can't do that it's easy to do it at home so i'm just going to do my classic kind of bed pick you know i really love my room at the moment so i'll just do it on the bed flowers that type of thing so i'm really looking forward to this i might even do this tomorrow um because i'm going out with my dad for a meal tomorrow so i might do it before or after then um after work um because i don't feel like getting glam today so i think i'll do that tomorrow so that's going to be an easy post and then the rest of this is clothes but i don't actually know what it is like i can i think there's going to be dresses I mainly pick dresses, like summery type things. Um, I only pick two pink things. So yeah, I picked something blue, can you believe it? Um, so I need to try and organise like stuff to do over the next 
two weeks um i'll be seeing jake at some point um and i've got a hen do this weekend um so i'm gonna be i'll have some time to like take a photo take a few photos then as well which is good um so i'm not too stressed because i was quite stressed about it but yeah let's get on to the next outfit okay so how cute is this for summer this is such a like frolicking in the field outfit so i'm gonna definitely take this in the field um if you've been on my instagram recently i took this photo well my boyfriend took this photo of me um which i really really like and it did really well it's this one and i love it and it's just by the fields near me um the fields are really really long at the moment like i don't know what type of i don't know it's not grass but it's something and it's really long at the moment before they chop it all down so i need to go and get another photo like this because i did just swipe it like the front and the back because it was the top uh, but obviously this is the dress so i can get like the front and the back again but i just think this is so cute it's got like green in it like peachy color cream um all floral and stuff and i love like this detail of the ruffles um so yeah i really really like this like i said if you do want to see a try on haul just let me know and i'll film one um so that's the type of vibe i'm gonna do for this so i need to get my mum to come and take the photos with me maybe tomorrow um or maybe even bully my dad into doing it so yeah we'll see so the next item is this really gorgeous white dress for summer i feel like i'm gonna get so much wear out of this it's got these huge pattern details on as well which are really cute it's like see through it's like laser cut is that what it's called i don't know it's like a weird i don't know how to describe this pattern but it's really cute and it's got like ruffles on it um it's just so cute it's got like a proper top on it as well and it's got different layers this is going to be so cute for summer so i feel like i'm probably going to end up wearing this out somewhere or maybe i've already got my uh, outfit sorted for the hendu but maybe i'll wear this to get photos then because it's going to be very pink in the background with lots of balloons you know that type of thing so I might wear this then. So that's the third outfit. So this next dress is actually so cute. I don't even remember picking this. Like this is how long it's been since I picked the stuff. But this is like an off the shoulder roughly chiffon kind of dress. Which I love. It's got like this like. I don't know how to describe this you know with like the cups in it. Like I love this style. It's got a little cut out on the waist. And it's ruched. So you can pull these and make it like shorter on one side. It's giving me like Spanish vibes. I feel like this will be so cute on holiday. Um, and I'm loving blue at the minute. Like can you tell? Um, I feel like blue is like a really nice colour for summer. Um, I'm really loving light blue and like a minty green. They're like the two new colours that I really like. Um, this pattern is so cute as well. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a bit like tie dye. Um, and it's got ruffles. So yeah, this is so cute. I don't actually know where I'm gonna take photos in this next in that what in that dress I just showed. So let me know if you've got any ideas because I feel like it's like kind of clubbing or like going out for a cocktails dress. Um, like it's not really like a shopping or like a field dress if that makes sense so like yeah let me know um maybe i need to go on a date night for it maybe i need to like go out for a meal and go somewhere like colorful um so yeah let me know any ideas and i'll see if i can do it because i, I need some ideas <laughs> oh my god how cute is this dress look how long it is as well this is like midi length it's so cute so the under layer is shorter so you'll see like your legs through it and i can wear some really nice like white wedges with this this is so cute and it's like this broad broderie anglais design um i love this i love like anything like this for summer um, but i don't have anything long like i feel like this is such holiday vibes um, I literally don't have anything long so I'm going to see if I can get like a picnic photo with this you know like in a field with some flowers some strawberries that type of thing I feel like that's such a good vibe for this outfit um, because I mean I can't go on holiday right now so yeah I just feel like this is so cute or even like at the hen party again like we're having like a tea party theme so yeah it's so cute and it's like off the shoulder again which I love I love an off the shoulder um I actually went to Primark the other day um, in Barnsley and saw a dress very similar to this and tried it on. It didn't really suit me. I think the top was too bulky, but this one looks really cute. I like how it's like a, a dip hem, if that's the word for it. I really should know my words better, but yeah, I love this one. I'm on to my pink items now. I'm really excited about this one. I literally don't know what this one is, but I'm really excited about this one, so I can't wait to open it. It looks so cute. I love this, and you guys probably already knew that before I even had to open my mouth. It's off the shoulder. It looks like it's going to be really fitted on top. It's this 
beautiful pink colour. This is like my colour. Um, it's satin. It's actually a really like thick satin as well. Like I hope it's not see-through because it doesn't look like it's going to be see-through. Um, and then it's like ruched up each side which is going to be so flattering. I need to go out in this. I need to go for drinks, for cocktails in this outfit ASAP. This with like a white blazer um, and some white heels. Yes love it and then like you whip the blazer off and you're going clubbing um i love this it's so cute so cute this is the last item and i thought it was a top but it's not it's actually a jumper dress so this is like a jumper dress style i feel like this is more like autumn but it's actually really cute still as well i feel like this is going to be cute for like getting coffee and it's quite thick um and it's like really stretchy and soft so this is definitely going to be like home vibes um or going for a coffee like coffee shop pick you know that type of thing so i can get my legs out and wear some nice trainers with this i'm sure i'll be able to dress it up as well but it's like really soft it's a really nice pink color um and it's like really stretchy so yeah it just looks really cute um so yeah, I love this as well. While we're opening things, I'm going to open my Amazon parcel. It's really not that exciting, but I ordered um, me and my boyfriend some coffee cups. So I've sent his to his address, um, and obviously mine here, um, because I'm not going to see him for like a week or so. Uh, if I can even get into it. Because basically, when I go to work um, and stuff like that, I'm just obsessed with coffee at the minute. And I need to buy some coffee syrups as well. So if any of you guys know some good coffee syrups, let me know. Um, but I ordered this because I want to take like soup and coffee with me. And it stays warm for six hours in this. Um, so that's why I've ordered it. It's this coffee mug. Stainless steel coffee mug. Um, but I got the pink colour, obviously. And I got him the black. Um, oh, it's actually such a cute colour. It says it's non-leak as well so this is one that i got this is so cute it's pretty big so i can put like soup in this um coffee tea i'm into lattes at the moment and i don't want to buy them all the time um so it'll be easier just to make some coffee in the morning I'll take it with me so i need to get some syrups um i really want to get a caramel syrup because i'm obsessed with caramel lattes um so yeah, I've been told like the skinny syrups are good, the Jordan's ones. So I think I'm going to get that, but let me know if there's like a better one I should get. Um, it's a skinny mixes caramel one, but I know there's a skinny food company, but I've used their products before, but not for like coffee syrups. And I want to make sure it's like nice in coffee because I've actually tried this one. Um, but yeah, let me know because I need a little coffee syrup my lattes in the morning so it's a few hours later guys and i've actually dyed my hair tonight i don't know if you can really tell much of a difference but i've been letting my natural hair grow out for literally about a year now so all of this top section um is pretty well it's pretty light so it was about to here um it was all my natural color and it was like quite an ashy brown um and i really did try to like embrace it and i did like it don't get me wrong like i was getting used to it and i was trying to find like a hairdresser that could um basically take my hair back to my natural color but it just ended up being way too difficult and really expensive and i don't even think she could have done it because i had like a lot of red tones in my hair um you can't really tell because I've got a weave in right now so it's kind of hard to tell which is my hair and which is not but I'm going to show you it in a sec um but yeah I'm really really happy with that actually so I literally dyed like my roots if that's what you call it but I dyed it to about here um I think I did an okay job it's pretty even there's like some bits underneath which are still kind of ashy but to be honest I don't really mind it's so much better than what it looked like before um and it's actually still like light which is what I wanted like a medium medium brown because i didn't want it to go too dark um so i think this is a nice color i feel like it brings out my eyes as well um so yeah i'm kind of really liking it obviously i've literally only just dyed it but i like it so i'm just gonna keep up to this now i think um but i got my weave done and it's like slightly slightly darker it's really bad lighting so i'm sorry you can't really tell but if you can see it's like a really really dark brown um like really really dark brown it's not really coming up on camera that much um, because it's not that bright in my room but the red tones are my natural is my hair so this is my hair 
um, and then underneath it's like quite dark so she's coming to um, change it soon I don't know if you can see that's a bit better if you look at the bottom there how kind of different the colour is but it was such a my hair is such a hard colour match um, because it's like got red tones and hair with red tones that you can't buy extensions that really have like a red tone to them um I don't know if I can show you again there you can see my hair and the weave it's like quite a different colour but I'm going to be getting tape soon because this is the Invisi weave method um and I really really liked it you know but I just think for me it's a little bit heavy um and I've had like quite a lot of issues in the past with like hair loss um like around my ears like my hair is so thin underneath I don't even know if you can tell like it's so thin um and it I lose a lot of hair like quite easily so I feel like these are not the best for me because the weave is such a big it's quite bulky and it pulls um on your hair especially when it's wet it really does pull um so yeah I feel like for me like tapes is going to be a better option because they're going to be a lot more lightweight and this is a lot of hair for me like I think this was 150 grams or 200 grams this is really thick some people really like it really really thick but for me like this is heavy like i'm not used to this um it's this is a bit more hair than what my whole head had before and now it's like double um so yeah absolutely no like shade to the hairdresser like i absolutely loved it um but i'm getting it changed soon to tapes and um, so i am excited about that so i will be vlogging that um so yeah but it's been a nice change like having hair a little bit shorter and stuff and it's been nice trying the weave um but yeah, let me know what you guys thought about my hair. I've not really had many comments on it, to be fair. Most people haven't really noticed a difference. But to me, because it's my hair, I know it's quite a big difference. Um, and let me know what you think about the colour as well, if you can even tell a difference. Um, but I do really like this colour. I think it's like really warm and rich. Um, and it's the Hindu, my mum's Hindu on Saturday. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm not going to be vlogging loads, but I'm going to vlog like a little bit. I'm going to show you the setup because, to be fair, I'm going to be really proud of it. Um, where like setting up the whole garden and all that so i'm excited for that and then it's the wedding a week on saturday this wedding has been postponed by a year um i'm bridesmaid and like like again i'm not gonna be vlogging the whole time but i'm gonna be vlogging the highlights because i'm gonna be doing a little wedding video for them i think um so yeah covid wedding covid hindu fresh hair for the appoint appointments <laughs> fresh hair for the occasions and i'm going to be getting my tapes in soon i'm getting my lashes done on friday um so i'm having a little bit of a glow up soon i got my nails done the other day they're actually so nice if it's going to focus they're so nice they're a bit a little bit longer than what i usually get but i got like the ombre style and they're like really really light nude to white and they've got glitter on i don't know if you can see but oh i love them so much they're my favorite i think they're my favorite nails if it's going to focus that i've got so far so yeah anyway i'm going to watch some youtube now um and i'm going to have a cup of tea and then i'm going to watch love island let me know who's your favorite at love island honestly like by the time this vlog goes up it's probably going to be the love island final because i'm not so editing but it is the 7th of july today um so two new girls came in last night i think it was lucinda but i do really like the look of lucinda so let me know what you guys think about love island um and i'm so happy to be in bed it's literally seven o'clock but i'm so happy to be in bed because my legs are killing me from the gym um and i'm working 10 till 5 tomorrow so i'm gonna really feel it um but yeah it's been really nice vlogging a little bit today because i feel like i've not vlogged in forever um so yeah i'm gonna pick the camera up next time maybe friday friday i'm getting my lashes done and i've got a bit of an errand day so yeah i'll speak to you guys soon hello guys so starting the vlog a little bit late a little bit random but i'm about to get my weave taken out and tapes fitted by boss extension so i'm not going to be vlogging it because already i already vlogged the process last time but i'm going to show you the after obviously this is the before the weave you've been seeing all week so yeah i'll show you the after <laughs> guys can you tell how happy i am by my face are you ready Oh my god.
if you can't tell I'm obsessed with my hair so I've just had the 28 inch tape extensions done by Boss um, she literally just came to my house and did them and just left and she's curled them and I couldn't be more obsessed. I couldn't be more obsessed. I am beyond obsessed. I literally cannot exp explain my excitement. Um, but I literally, I have to go out right now. So I have to go out to the post office and I'm also going to get coffee. So I'm going to bring you guys with me, even though I don't really know how much I'm going to vlog, but you gotta, you got to come with me. Um, because I might even go to Morrison's as well. Um, and then tonight we have to set up for the Hindu because I need to set up um, the outdoor. So I'm gonna show you that when I get back. But, oh my God, look at my hair. I just can't get over it. I can't get over it. Let me know which you prefer. This hair or the weave. Let me know. But I feel like, I feel like I'm back. I feel like this is me. I feel like my hair is back. I'm praying you stay there guys. So I've literally just got to Morrison's. I've just packed up. It is so warm in this car. Um, so I'm gonna go to the post office because I've got two parcels to, to sell, to post. And um, I'm gonna get a coffee from Greg's. I'm gonna get a caramel latte with cream because maybe I won't get the cream actually. I'm gonna get a caramel latte. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to be healthy. I started the gym the other day as I keep saying. Um, someone's staring at me because i'm talking to myself we love that um so yeah i'm gonna get out of the car i've just realized i forgot to do a car tour and i was gonna do one ages ago so i'm gonna do a car tour at some point i've just remembered but i just don't have time today so yeah anyway i'm gonna go so come with me i just love how small my car is guys like this is the parking spot <clears throat> i could fit two in anyway this is morrison's so we're going to the post office right now so I'll see you when I'm there. Just been and got it. Now I'm gonna go to Morrison's. That was actually quite dramatic, guys, because the uh, cashiers all went down in Morrison's. So I had to rush around and I couldn't really vlog. But I picked up some heroes and some pineapple juice. I know it's a really, really exciting shot. But you don't have to tell me. Um, but basically, I picked up the heroes for my hair technician, um, hair extension technician, Jess. Um, because basically, we've been working together on a gifted collaboration. And I'm absolutely obsessed with my hair. And honestly, she's done it twice already. And... I've bought clippings from her in the past and they really are amazing like I wouldn't promote something if they weren't and they really really are amazing like I absolutely love them um so obviously I've gone for the tapes this time and I'm absolutely in love I literally just got shouted out in the street um I love them and like the colour is like insane and I don't think she could have done any better and she's just the sweetest girl like in the world um, if you do want to book with her like if you're from like Leeds literally anywhere like Leeds, Bradford, Sheffield somewhere like that or like if you're happy to travel to her because you only need to see her once every 10 weeks which isn't that often um, so if you can like travel to her once every 10 weeks to get it refitted then please please do consider Jess at Boss Extension. I'm going to leave her link down below um, because like she's so reasonable, she's so lovely um, and she's in a little independent business which is what we want to promote. Um, sorry there's literally nowhere to put my camera which is what we want to promote. Um, so yeah please do consider her. So I'm going to put together like a little hamper for her. I was thinking about it earlier and I'm going to do it. So I'm going to get like a little present bag and maybe like a thank you card. So I've got some chocolates. I'm going to give her some stuff from Princess Kachal. So I'm going to get her like a robe, I think, because everyone loves like a silky princess robe, you know. So I think I'm going to give her a robe, um, maybe some jewellery. Um, I've got the chocolate and then maybe like a face mask or something. I know it doesn't like accumulate to the price of the extensions, but it was like a gifted collaboration. So I'm doing a lot of content for her in exchange for the extensions and I love them to pieces. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to get her a little thank you present. Um, hopefully she doesn't watch this because I want it to be like a surprise. Um, so yeah, I don't know when I'm gonna give it to her because I don't know when I'm gonna see her next now. Like my maintenance appointment will be in eight weeks time, um, which is two months, like that's quite a while. It's gonna be September, um, which is crazy to think. I'm so warm. Um, so yeah. She literally lives up the road from me though, so she could literally just pop in or I might just drop it around. Um, 
so yeah i really do think you should go and book in with her if you think about getting extensions you know she does all the types which is amazing and she also does clipping extensions as well and she can also color match through a photo and send them to you and they're such a reasonable price i think i paid like 160 pounds for my clipping extensions which is amazing um because like when i work um when i bought from zyla um I paid like nearly £300 plus tax from Zyla and I preferred my ones from Boss. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to head home now and then I'm going to show you the gazebo and we're going to decorate because it's currently 3.44 and mum gets out of work at 4. Um, so yeah, I'm going to head home because the traffic is going to get busier as well. Um, and I'll speak to you guys when I'm home. Got it. I've just got home and received this amazing parcel from Glam Wax. Thank you so much, guys. So I've got the Ponce Martini smell. I was going to say flavour, but it's not a flavour, is it? It's like a smell. Um, and the Glam Goddess. This one smells insane. Look how cute they are. The hearts as well. Um, so, yeah, thank you so much, guys. And here's a little 10% off code as well. Love Glam Wax. So make sure you go and use that if you do. And follow me on Instagram at Glam Wax. UK. This is such a cute little card. I'm definitely going to keep this as well. Um, but they smell amazing. This one really does smell insane. Um, so I've just done a little story for them. And then my mum just got home from work and she's received these flowers for the Hindu and getting married. And then we've got the donuts for the donut wall, which is right over here. This is all the stuff to decorate. So this is the aftermath of getting hair extensions. So I'm gonna quickly hoover this up and then move some stuff downstairs and then we're all gonna decorate. I'm gonna also put some shorts on because I'm absolutely boiling hot, like absolutely boiling. And I feel proper bloated, um, but yeah, I feel boiling. Look at my hair. So I zoom in. Wow. Love it, if you can't already smell. Um, but yeah, getting excited for the wedding now. Not long. Hindu tomorrow, so I'm going to vlog it, um, which is exciting. And you'll see my outfit and stuff. I'm going to get it out tonight. So yeah. This is my donut stand. We've got all the bride-to-be little bits on there. I don't know where to put the donut stand with that. Or, and this is where the afternoon tea is going to go. Or over here, because then it's not in the sun. Um, oh, I need to fix that. I'm going to make up these straws and pop them in that glass. I've done a little photo booth table so that we've got the frame that says she said yes so people can take photos. Um, all the little props to hold up. I need to put the glasses on there as well. Um, so yeah, I'm going to make up these straws and then I've just laid out all the decorations. So these are all like banners. That's for the door. These are um, these little pom-pom things that are going to dangle from these. Um, and then we've got all the balloons. I'm going to do a quick before. I mean, obviously it's a little bit decorated, but this is what it's looking like right now. And then I'll show you after. So you've just got to literally stick it. <laughs> so we've got teen bride and bride to be, but there's only two bride to be ones. Um, so I'm gonna do them up anyway. So this is looking like they look so cute. And then after that, I'm gonna make up these and we're gonna put them on the black beams. And then as a pull up, leave the phone connected to my car, so I work the 